So after his two week suspension was up on the third, Nor Vesper still hadn't returned, causing panic amongst his fans until last night when he finally tweeted out, quote, I'm back everyone, I'm really sorry if I made you worry. The suspension caused inconvenience to other talents such as Tempest, but the reason for the suspension itself was not because of the inconvenience to other talents. Now, this tweet had many fans happy, welcoming Vesper back to us, and even Yagu saying, quote, looking forward to working with you more. So obviously, people are happy that Vesper is back, however, people are still confused about the entire situation and would like to know more about the suspension. Thankfully, Vesper had scheduled a chatting stream for today and during it stated that he can't go into all of the details but was able to at least give us some details like this. Like I got suspended because I lost my temper. My quick temper is by a very wide margin the worst part of who I am. I have a quick temper now. I used to have just like a straight up bad temper when I was a young lad and it took a long time and a lot of therapy for me to get better at that and I improved it and I got cocky. I, I thought all I don't really have like a temper anymore. I'm I'm past that. I'm older. I'm wiser. I don't have a I don't have a quick temper or a bad temper, but I do. The main issue is that it's just like I got cocky and I was just like, no, I don't have a I don't have a quick temper. It is like 100 percent of the time the suboptimal choice to lose your temper. There's like never going to be a situation. There has never been a situation in my own life where I was just like, yeah, the best course of action in that particular situation was to lose my temper. It's just like never a good thing. At the end of the day, the people that like suffered the most for it were the Vesties, right? That's like, that's like what I was thinking about the most. The people that have like stuck around, I am very sorry. And I think that's about the extent of what I could talk about. Now, I'm sure many people are going to continue speculating the entire reason for the suspension, but either way, I'm really happy to see Vesper back. Please let me know what you all think about this down below. As we now move on over to Takanashi Kiara, who during her Pokemon stream a few days ago, spoke about the Minecraft Wither collab coming up, a collab with Gura, and opened up about how rude a few people in Gura's chat were to her in the past, having this to say about the situation at the time. Emily, I'm gonna be honest, like I've noticed a long time before when I commented in her chat, I saw like one or two stupid comments in the chat being like go away Kiana or shit like that and that honestly is just I don't know it's not very welcoming, so I stopped commenting since then. She likely doesn't want to seem too sad about the dislike or hate that Gura's chat may have for her since she kind of played it off with this. I mean, usually she streams during a time where I'm not really up for watching streams anyway. However, as I said, this is all from a past incident with Gura's chat as Kiara went on to talk about her experience from recent times. Ever since then, I didn't feel so welcome. But then yesterday, I didn't notice such a thing and, and Gura was quite chatty and excited so that was nice so thankfully Kiara is now welcoming Gura's chat and I'm sure there will still be some people saying things to Kiara that's just the way people are but I think she'll be able to just ignore those people with the overwhelming number of welcoming fans in the chat but I would like to just touch a bit more on Gura's chat or really VTuber chats as a whole when it comes to the whole quote chat reflects the streamer debacle we may influence how our chat acts at times when it comes to certain things but overall when it comes to the way viewers act as individuals especially when telling Kiara to go away and likely some other things that's not on Gura at all, and thankfully Kiara went on to say that it isn't Gura's fault at all. Yeah, I think, you know, it's, it's not her fault or so, but her her viewers, there's a lot of viewers that don't watch any other Holo Live English member, I think. <laughs> so sometimes mm, I guess they're they might not be so welcoming sometimes. Of course, Kiara is correct that a lot of people in Gura's chat probably only watch her and her alone. Gura has such a massive audience that I'm sure some of them know nothing about Hololive outside of the fact that Gura is in this VTuber agency. But again, when it comes to the way chat acts, Gura doesn't have any control over that for the most part. We've even talked about a past incident with Gura's chat making racist jokes when a song came up during Trombone Champ, and we've even had Gura's and others' talents fan discords ban the mentioning of other people. Now, when it comes to that incident with Gura's chat banning the mentioning of me and some others that had people saying that Hololive needs to get these fans under control and ban these discords entirely. Now that's not possible to do since it's just a fan discord and not causing any real problems but it's also not something Hololive should be worried about at all. For people to say that these discords reflect the talent, the company, and that letting them do whatever they want could lead to disaster is just wrong entirely. Most of the casual audience doesn't know about or care about the existence of these fan servers and them banning the mentioning of certain creators 
years while it's dumb isn't a real issue at all. Again, when it comes to chat, there isn't all too much that Gura can do. Should they hire even more mods to completely moderate chat? Yes, but there's way too many people in chat for them to be able to get everyone being an ass. And when it comes to these discords, the best thing to do is just ignore them and move on with your day. They aren't hurting anyone and they're there to just be fans of Gura without discussion of drama channels such as myself. So let me know what you think about this whole streamer and chat debacle down below. As we now move over to Niji Sanji English's newest wave of VTuber talents called Exole or Exolel. I really still do not know how to pronounce it. Anyways, all of their models look great and I can't wait to see them actually debut. They've also already released their debut music video so give that a listen if you'd like. It somehow managed to get leaked early to a lot of people but it's officially out for you to listen to now. But for now I'd like to focus a bit on one of the members Hex Haywire. Hex when the group's initial announcement video was released has been under a bit of fire from people due to his voice sounding like this in the video. I promise I will let you go baby. Upon hearing his voice many in the quote retweets took to mocking it saying it sounds fake and overall being rather rude about it. Now I understand that the voice isn't for everyone however after listening to the music video I don't see any world that Hex's voice is fake. Fake voice or not Hex has thankfully not taken any of it to heart and began memeing on it tweeting out quote voice changer and other talents playing into it as well asking if he's actually Corp's husband. So hopefully after the music video and his debut later on people will actually give Hex a chance since he seems like a really great dude. Either way go check out Niji Sanji's newest VTubers. As we move over to a bit of a scary situation coming out from a VTuber by the name of Yuna who tweeted out quote whoever shipped me an air tag you are not cool or smarter than me and I didn't drive home with it so this is a warning to not do it again thanks. And if you do not know what an air tag is it's a little tracking device Apple release that you can place on your wallet keys or whatever you'd like in order to find it if you lost it. Problem is people believe they can use these to actually track people. Thankfully if an air tag is detected following you around your iPhone and I believe Androids will notify you about it. But Yuna has gone on to say quote I'm okay you guys thank you for the concern it's not that scary to me. What are they gonna do come get bitten or kicked out of existence? Just if you run your own PO box for viewers as much faith as you have placed in them take care of your safety first and foremost. Continuing with quote do not throw away the air tag there are ways to deactivate it if found you can use it as evidence if you decide to pursue androids can pick up air tags without notifying the owner as well so you can take care of it don't panic and just take care of it accordingly and yourself so overall a really scary and unfortunate situation that Yuna was put in but it goes to show you that you can't always trust your fans completely so let me know what you all think about that and remember to stay safe and have a wonderful rest of your day Bye bye